Welcome back friends. In this third video, we are going to discuss about the questions from 66. Okay, then consider the following statements. First one, India is the member of which of the above organizations? First one, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Yeah, it's true. Then Missile Technology Control Regime. It's true. Then Shanghai Cooperation Organization. That means SEO. It's true. So the answer will be D. Option one, two, and three. Then question number seven, 67, consider the following statements. First one, Vietnam has been one of the fastest growing economies in the world in the recent years. That's true. Then Vietnam is led by the multi-party political system. Oh, it's false. Then Vietnam's economic growth is linked to its integration with global supply chains and focus on exports. That's true. Then, for a long time, Vietnam's low labor cost and state stable exchange rates have attracted global manufacturers. Yeah, it's true. Then, Vietnam has the most productive e-service sector in the Indo-Pacific region. No, it's false. So, the final answer will be option C, 1, 3, and 4. Then, question number 68. In India, which one of the following is responsible for maintaining price stability by controlling inflation. Option B, Reserve Bank of India. Then question number 67, 69, with reference to non-fungible tokens, that means NFTs, consider the following statements. They enable the digital representation of physical assets, yeah, it's true. They are unique cryptographic tokens that exist on blockchain, yeah, it's true. Then, they can be traded or exchanged at equivalency and therefore can be used as a medium of commercial transaction. That's true. So the answer will be option B, option one, two, and three. Then consider the following pairs. They give reservoirs and the state local rate. First one, Gata Prabha. They give, just to focus, how many pairs given are the ABU are not correctly matched? Okay, they are asking about not correctly matched. So consider the Gata Prabha is located in Karnataka. So it is false. Then Gandhi Sagar, it's located in Madhya Pradesh. It's true. Then Indra Sagar, it is located in Madhya Pradesh. So it is also false. Then Maithon is located in Jharkhand. It's also false. So only one such pair is correct. But they're asking about not correctly matched. So the answer will be C. Only three pairs were not correctly matched. Then question number 71. In India, which one of the following compels information on industrial aid disputes, closures, retrenchments, and layoffs in the factories employing workers? So the answer will be Labor Bureau, option C. Then question number 72. In India, what is the role of the coal controllers organization? That means CCOs. Option one. CCO is the major source of coal statistics in government of India. Yeah, it's true. Then it monitors progress of development of capital coil or lignite blocks. Yeah, it's also true. Then it hears any objection to the government's notification relating to acquisition of coal bearing areas. Yeah, it's also true. It ensures that coal mining companies deliver the coal to end users in the prescribed time. No, it's false. So the correct answer will be option A, one, two, and three. Then question number 73, if a particular area, area is brought under the fifth schedule of the Constitution of India, which one of the following statements best reflects the consequences of it? Option A, this would prevent the transfer of land of tribal people to non-tribal people. So option A is the answer. Because then question number 74, consider the following statements. They are asking about current statement. Okay, the first option will be the Indian Sanitation Coalition is the platform to promote sustainable sanitation and is funded by the government of India and the World Health Organization. No, it's false. Then the National Institute of Urban Affairs is an apex body of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in government of India and provides innovative solution to address the challenges of urban area. No, it's also false. So the answer will be neither one nor two. Then question number 75, which one of the following has been constituted under the Environmental Protection Act 1986? So 
the answer will be option C, Central Government Groundwater Authority. Then 76, with reference to the United Nations Credential Committee, consider the following statements. Option one, it is the committee set up by the UN Security Council and works under its supervision. No, it's false. Option two, it traditionally meets in March, June, and September every year. No, it's also false. It assesses the credential of all UN members before submitting a report to the General Assembly for approval. Yeah, it's only true. So the answer will be option A. Then, which one of the following statements best describes the polar code? Option A. It is the international code of safety for ships operating in polar waters. Then, question number 78. With reference to the United Nations General Assembly, consider the following statements. Option A. The UN General Assembly can grant observer status to the non member states. That's true. Intergovernmental organization can seek observer status in the UN General Assembly. It's also true. Then, permanent observers in the UN General Assembly can maintain missions at the UN headquarters. It's also true. So, option D, option 1, 2, 3 will be the correct answer. Then, question number 79. With reference to the tea boat in India, consider the following statements. Option one, the tea board is a statutory body. Yeah, true. It is a regulatory body attached to the Ministry of Agriculture and the Farmers Welfare. False. The tea board is the tea board's headquarters is situated in Bangalore. Oh, it's also false. Then the board has overseas offices at Dubai and Moscow. Yeah, it's true. The answer will be option D, one and four. Then, which one of the following best describes the term green washing? Option A, conveying a false impression that a company's product are eco-friendly and environmentally sound. So it is known as green washing. Then question number 81, consider the following statements. Option one, high clouds primarily reflect solar radiation and cool, cool the surface of the air. No, it's false. Then, low clouds have a high absorption of infrared radiation emanating from the Earth's surface and thus cause warming effect. No, it's also false. So the answer will be option D, neither one nor two. Then consider the following statements. Option A, BDPD is the large refugee settlement in western, northwestern Kenya. No, it's false. It's in Rwanda. Then some people who fled from the South Sudan civil war live in BDPD. Yeah, it's true. Then, some people who fled from civil war in Somalia live in Dadaab refugee campus complex in Kenya. It's also true. So, the answer will be option C, 2 and 3. Then, question number 83, consider the following countries. So, which of the above are members of the organization of Turkic states? So, option 1, <coughs> Armenia, false. Option two, Azerbaijan, true. Option B, Croatia, false. Then option four, Romania, false. Option five, Uzbekistan, true. So the answer will be C, two and five will be the correct answer. Then question number 84, consider the following statements. Gujarat has the largest solar park in India. No, it's false, it's Rajasthan. Then Kerala has the fully solar powered international airport. Yeah, it's true. Then Goa has the largest floating solar photovoltaic project in India. No, it's false. So the option will be B, two only. With reference to the United Nations Convention on the Law of Sea, consider the following statements. Option A, the coastal state has the right to establish the breadth of its territorial sea up to a limit not exceeding 12 nautical miles measured from baseline settlement in accordance with the convention. That's true. Then, ships of all states, whether coastal or landlocked, enjoy the rights of innocent passage through the territorial sea. That's true. Then, the exclusive economic zone shall not extend beyond 200 nautical miles from the baseline from which the breadth of its territorial sea is measured. That's true. So, the right answer will be option D, 1, 2, and 3. Then, question number 86, which one of the following statements best reflects the issue with the Senkaku Islands. So option B, 
China and Japan engaged in maritime disputes over these islands in East China Sea. Then question number eight is seven. Consider the following pairs. They give countries and important reason for being in the new season. First one, chart setting up for a permanent military base by China, that's true. Guinea, suspension of constitution and government by military, that's true. Then Lebanon. Sorry for the inconvenience. So 87, short, setting up permanent military base by China, it's false. And then Guinea, suspension of constitution and government by military, that's true. Lebanon, severe and prolonged economic depression, that's true. Tunisia, so suspension of parliament by the president, that's true. So the answer will be, how many pairs are given correctly matched? Only three pairs. Then question number 88, Consider the following pairs. Region often mentioned in the news and which of the countries? Option one, Anatolia, Turkey, that's true. Amhara, Ethiopia, is true. Then, Cabo Delgado, Gilgado, so it's in Mozambique, so it's false. Then, Catalonia, it's in Spain, so it's also false. So, so how many such pairs are correctly matched? Only two pairs. Then, with reference to Indian laws about wildlife protection, consider the following statements. 89. Wild, wild animals are the sole property of the government. That's true. When the wild animal is declared protected, such animal is entitled for equal protection, whether it is found in protected areas or outside. Yeah, it's true. Apprehension of a protected wild animal becoming a danger to human life is sufficient ground for its capture or killing. No, it's false. So the answer will be. Option A, one and two will be the correct answer. Then 90, certain species of which one of the following organisms are well known for the, well known for as a cultivators of fungi. So answer A. And then consider the following statements, site of Ahsoka, major rock edits, and the location of the state in which. First one, Dauli, Odisha, correct. And Yaragudi, it is in, Andhra Pradesh, it's also correct. Anjagada, it's in Odisha, so it's false. Then Kalsi, it's in Uttarakhand, so it's also false. So how many such pairs are currently matched? Only two pairs. Then they're giving the king, and the king belongs to the dynasty. First one, Nanuka, he belongs to Chandala dynasty, that's true. Jayasakti, he belongs to Chandala dynasty, so it's false. Sin, Nagapada too, he belongs to Gurjara Parihatra, so true. And Boja, he belongs to Pradihara, so it's also false. So how many such pairs are correct? Only two pairs. Then, which one of the following statements about the Sankal literature in ancient South India is correct? Option B, the social classification of Varna was known to Sangam poets. Yeah. Then 1994, Yoga Asista was translated into Persian by the Nizamuddin Panipati during the region of Akbar, option A. Then question number 95, the world's second tall statue in sitting pose of Ramanuja was inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India at Hyderabad recently. Which one of the following statements correctly represents the teaching of Ramanuja? So option A, the best means of salvation was devotion. Then 96, the Prime Minister recently inaugurated the New circuit house near Soma Temple at Veraval. Which of the following statements are correct regarding the Soma Temple? So, option A, the Soma Temple is one of the Jodhir Linga shrines, correct? The description of the Soma Temple was given by Albert yeah, It's true. The Pran Pradishta of Soma Temple, that means installation of the present day temple, was done by the President of President S. Ravakrishnan. No, it's false. So, the answer will be option A, one and two only. The 97th question, which of the following statements best describes the role of B cells and T cells in human body? Option D, they protect the body from the disease and caused by the pathogens. The 98, consider the following statements. First one, other than those made by the humans, nanoparticles do not exist in nature. No, it's false. Then. Nanoparticles of some metallic oxides are used in the manufacture of some cosmetics. That's true. 
the nanoparticles of some commercial products which enter the environment are unsafe for humans that's true so the answer will be option d 2 and 3 then question number 99 consider the following statements dna barcoding can be a tool to first one assess the age of the plant or animal that's false distinguish among species that look alike that's true identify undesirable animals or plant materials in processed products or processed foods that's true so the answer will be option d 2 and 3 only then consider the following statements excess of which of the above in the environment is or or caused the rain as it rain so option 1 more carbon monoxide no it's false nitrogen oxide yeah it's true ozone false then sulfur dioxide yeah it's true so the option will be b so guys i hope everyone did the upsc gs paper well and we are expecting the best wishes and best future to you thank you